welcome to the next installment of Scary Tales. I'm very sorry it's been a while. I've been really busy with a lot of stuff, and I haven't really gotten enough time to put focus onto this series. So sit back, huddle up in your blanket, and enjoy the next installment of Scary Tales. I would like to give a pre-tree warning for anything that is being read. It reads, Reddit, what is the creepiest true story someone has ever told you? I'll start. Way back in fifth grade or so, I discovered a glorious Pokemon themed chat room through the wonders of Yahoo. Within this chat room, there were 15 regulars, generally between ages 12 and 16 or so, and we had a great time role playing various anime characters and storylines. Anyways, I got a few people from there, well, enough to chat with them on AIM or by phone, and a few of those friendships lasted a good 4 or 5 years. One of these guys was a little eccentric. He loved creatures, monsters, models and stories. Stuff like Godzilla, Spawn, whatever. He believed in things like the Chupacabra, which I thought were silly, but I didn't care. And he lived in some Midwest state. After getting to know him pretty well and having a good 100 hours of phone conversations over the years, he finally revealed this lovely story. He told me that sometimes he would black out and wake up to discover that he had or is still in the process of hunting, of hurting or torturing. Ooh. He had quite a few cousins and neighbor kids who lived nearby and apparently had killed him. When he revealed this to me, I felt sick inside. I love animals and the information chilled me to the bone. It was really hard for him to tell me this and he confined that was the only person that he had ever been able to tell this to. Then it got weirder. Someone in his family, or maybe a family friend, decided that he must be possessed by a demon and they had to perform an exorcism. They did it at night, of course, in a dark room lit by candles and he was tied to the bed because they did not know how the demon would react. He was choking up as he described this part. I could hear his voice quivering because he was so emotional and terrified at this story. He described a pretty creepy process, but the worst part was the end. He said that they heard something hit the floor under the bed when the demon left his body. Then something scrabbled across the floor out of the room in the darkness, leaving claw marks in the wood floor. He was totally and completely serious about this and how it cured him and he didn't hurt things anymore. I, as any sane person would do, noped right the fuck out of the situation. If you scroll further down to the comments, you'll get a good idea of what people think and what their minds are. One person saying, in my hometown, there was a true story about a guy in the neighborhood that was going to people's homes and stealing and he made one strike at night, and he was super careful, but he never got caught. They caught the guy, and he was my neighbor. He was 17 years old, and did it for a thrill. There are many more stories that you can dive straight deep into, and you'll know exactly where to go for all of this. With that all being said, we unveiled one story, and many other true stories, or fictitious stories. Well, I thank you all for watching, and I appreciate you all for all that you do. If you really like this content, then share a like, and show to me that this is truly worth the series to dive deep.